you are welcome to my kitchen this is your girl mommy Aja Aka please if you have not yet subscribed consider subscribing today we are going to make jago mayonnaise we are going to imitate them and so that's what you are going to do and let's look at the ingredients we have here when you look at jago mayonnaise they are um, ingredients they have soya bean oil and this is our soya bean oil they have eggs and we are using eggs to two eggs they have water we are not using water they have vinegar so this is my vinegar you can use white vinegar they have sugar i am not using sugar i'm using sweetener because i don't take in sugar so i'm using sweetener they have salt this is my salt they have onion flavoring and this is homemade onion powder you can check the, the description side for a link to how to make your own onion powder. And they also have natural flavoring. And as for my natural flavor, I'm using black pepper and white pepper. They have paprika. I'm not using paprika. And so in this Jago mayonnaise, what we are exempting are the water and the paprika. Water and paprika. So let's go on. So the first thing we'll do is we'll put in our eggs. You can decide to use one egg. That's okay. We'll add a bit of salt to it. We'll add the onion powder to it. We'll add the lemon juice you are going to add one spoon of the vinegar also to it we are going to whisk it a bit okay i'm going to add my sweetener I'm adding two for the meantime. I'm going to add white pepper. And I'm going to add black pepper. To whisk it. Now, now I'm going to add my oil, but I'm not going to add everything at a go. more oil bear in mind that the quantity of the oil will depend how thick it will become
okay we are going to check to see if the thickness is okay for me okay so it's getting thick as you can see yes it's thick not that it's getting thick it's thick okay so this is our yogurt mayonnaise but i'm going to add more oil i'm going to taste this and see if the sweetener is okay i should add more I'll add the extra one. So this is what is left. I can decide to add all, but I don't want to add all. Okay, so finally we are done with our jago mayonnaise. You really need to taste this. It's so awesome. Oh my goodness, very thick. And we are going to, I'm going to pour this and store it in the fridge. And I'll be using it. This can keep long in the fridge, like two weeks in the fridge. And if you don't have a food processor, you can use your blender to make it or use your hand whisk to make it so this is our homemade jago mayonnaise please if you have not yet subscribed consider subscribing and don't forget to give this a try give the video also a thumbs up and leave your comment thanks so much bye bye I'm not